People say multitasking is a myth, that you can't do two things at once. Well, I say rubbish. No, Joe, I don't agree. Everybody wants to get rich by doing absolutely nothing. And that's exactly what Joe here is referring to. With eToro's copy trader, you can copy the top performing investors. Copy trading is a feature which was made available by eToro and is definitely one of the most talked about topics on YouTube. There are all kinds of videos available on YouTube where you've got people talking about how eToro's copy trading functionality is a simple yet an easy way of generating passive income for yourself without knowing the first thing about investing or day trading. eToro, copy trading, because what better way to invest money in the stock market to earn you some passive income? Um, yeah, I don't agree with that. So in this video, I want to talk to you about why I think eToro's copy trading functionality is definitely one of the most stupidest features that are available out there in the world of finance and why I think you should absolutely not be doing it. Hello and welcome to The Nimble Nomad. My name is Arjun and this is the channel where we talk about money and investing. So copy trading is the unique feature that has been made available on eToro's platform where basically you quite literally copy someone else's trade. So if you are on the platform and you decide to copy someone, you're quite literally trading or putting in money into the stock market when someone else is investing as well. So the whole premise with which this has been marketed is that there are people on the platform who are pros, who make money and they, they show what kind of returns they have and the assets they are invested into. And if you like their investment philosophy and the kinds of returns that they're generating, then you can decide to copy them and generate similar kinds of returns. Now. Um, the whole premise with which this works is that if they make money, you make money as well. And since those people are actually investing with their own hard earned cash, nobody wants to lose their money. So basically everybody wins. And by doing this, if you don't know anything about investing or the world of day trading, then you can go get good at that as well by investing money by copying them. Now, as someone who quite literally believes in the whole premise of hard work pays off. You can see I'm wearing a t-shirt which says that. I think this is a ridiculous idea because the world of investing is not so simple. And this is, in my opinion, one of the main reasons why we've seen crazy valuations for tech stocks in the stock market and we've had this huge mania for investing over the period of COVID-19. To, to put things into perspective, I created a virtual account on the eToro platform where you can play with virtual money. And I looked at the top three most copied traders that were available. And these guys are invested very heavily into tech stocks such as Apple, Neo, Amazon, and tech stocks which are at really high valuations. Now, does this sound similar to you at all? Now, obviously, when I looked on eToro at these guys who have the top returns, I'm actually providing a point in time view. But obviously, if the top three traders are invested into tech stocks, that's exactly what was happening 22 years ago. And this is what happens in the stock market. When you have a single sector which is fueled by mania and where you have a large population flocking to that sector, investing and putting money into it, what happens is next is there is a massive stock market crash or what is also known as a correction, which means that the valuations come back down to reality because the earnings just don't match those valuations. Now, if you want more perspective on this, let's just think about copy trading in the perspective of historical. So before the 2009 crash, so if, if you were doing copy trading around 2006 or seven, one of the best copy traders, in my opinion, would be investing into oil and real estate. And what do you think happened in 2009 to those guys? The, that sector got absolutely crushed. Now going back even further, so if you went back to 1997 and 1998, again, the best copy traders would be investing in tech in a similar fashion. 
and what do you think happened in 1999 and 2000? Those tech bubbles burst and it, there was a massive crash. So if you in 2021 are investing into copy traders who are very heavily invested into these high valuation stocks, which don't have the earnings to support them, what do you think is gonna happen to you? If there's a crash and you're invested with those guys, you're gonna have a correction. You're going to lose money as well. I'm not normally described of uh, as described as perverse, but you've got to be perverse to say the market's going to crash. Okay, so the next point that I want to talk about is what are you buying and why are you buying it? So the whole premise with which people put money into, say, for example, the stock market is because they're buying a piece of a business which is likely to yield one of three things. One, either it's gonna give you some sort of capital appreciation because you believe that business is going to do well in the future. Two, it's gonna give you some sort of a return either in the form of dividends or you're buying an asset which is gonna give you some sort of a fixed income in the form of rent or other means. Now, when you do eToro copy trading, what essentially you're actually doing is you're giving control to somebody else to manage your money. Now, it's true that on eToro, the money will still stay in your account and you can decide to stop copying somebody else, but what you're doing is you're letting them use that money to buy assets which may or may not be aligned to your own financial goals. So let's say in theory, you find the best day trader on eToro and all of their investment values line up with them. You see their asset portfolio, you like what they're investing in because they're all blue chip stocks. And you can see, um, let's say in theory, that person has invested 10,000 pounds or $10,000 on eToro's platform and they're trading with their own money. now you decide that, okay, I like this person and I'm going to put thousand pounds in as well. And they're investing that thousand pounds. Now, for whatever reason, there's a massive market crash and they lose, uh, you know, 10,000 pounds or a certain percentage of that asset portfolio. And you also lose thousand pounds as a result. You don't actually know what their financial situation is. For all you know that that 10,000 pounds that they've lost is actually a, a a small portion of the returns that they've gained over a significant period of time having traded on the platform or maybe that's disposable income that they're okay with losing but for you personally that thousand pounds is money that takes you about three months to save it's money that's really really precious and you can't actually afford to lose it would you actually be okay in that situation investing in day trading and using eToro's copy trading function? I personally wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do that because I don't know what they're investing in and whether those mechanisms and means with which they're investing actually meets my own financial goals. Now, before we move on, I actually want to talk about another platform that's actually available. And if you want to learn about day trading, I really recommend that you look at these guys. So this platform is called XTB and XTB is one of the largest stock exchange listed FX and CFD brokers. XTB actually offers a wide variety of assets on their platform, which includes Forex, indices, commodities, and even stock CFTs. They have a great platform where you can actually even screen stocks and get on-hand information about the key performance indicators. And they have a lot of free learning that's available on their website and direct access to an account manager who's gonna be available to answer all your questions. I also know that these guys have regular seminars where you can go and learn about day trading with them in the office or virtually currently. Now, if you want to sign up for XTB, I'll add a referral link in the description below. I want to make you aware that I get a small commission if you do sign up through that link. Uh, but if you do want to learn about day trading and you're interested in generating large sums of wealth through day trading, it may be something that you want to check them out on. Okay, now let's get back to the whole discussion about why copy trading is not a good idea. So the next thing is, at what point are you buying and selling? So when you do copy trading, obviously you are copying uh, trades of somebody that is investing in and out of the stock market. But the question that you need to ask yourself is at what point are you starting to copy somebody else? So let's say you again find that ideal trader who's invested in stocks that you really like and 
they're investing in Tesla and you think that you know you want to trade with them on Tesla as well um, now the thing that you need to keep in mind is you're, you're seeing that that person has made a large sum of returns through the investment portfolio that they've got and you can see the stats available on eToro's copy traded platform but what you need to understand is you don't actually know when they started investing in Tesla so if they invested in March of 2020 in Tesla which was basically when Tesla stock had tanked and they've got about a, let's say theoretically 120 percent return and in 2021 you're deciding to copy them and invest in Tesla as well. You're basically investing at peak valuation. So if there were to be a correction, basically you are likely to take a bigger hit than that person because if they've already had 120% return and they're losing money at this point and exiting the market, their losses are gonna be significantly more hedged because of the amount of return that they've achieved thus far. Whereas if you're investing a lot later in the cycle, you're probably taking the higher hit than they are. So obviously you can switch that copy trading thing off, but the key thing is you need to be aware of these cycles that the stock market goes through and at what point are you entering the stock market and at what valuation as well. So in conclusion, I ultimately think that copy trading is nothing but a legalized version of a get rich quick scheme and i definitely do not think that people who don't know anything about day trading or investing should be doing it on eToro's platform of course if you have money to lose then by all means go and do that but i think if you don't have the patience to learn and understand how the world of investing and finance works then don't do it. I, I think ultimately investing is not only about uh, investing money, but it's about investing in your own self and building a raft of knowledge. If you don't agree with my views on why copy trading is a bad idea, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. You're by all means entitled to have your own views and I'd love to get your views on why you think that. Uh, if this video did help you out though, Please smash that like button and do not forget to subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.